Only four chemical companies control 60% of global seed sales. The majority of processed food and conventionally farmed produce is coming to you from the same people that brought you Agent Orange, which was used for chemical warfare in Vietnam and still causes birth defects to this day. The same company also brought you DDT, which is a substance that is now banned worldwide. The company I'm speaking of is Monsanto, now owned by Bayer. In 1974, they invented Roundup, which includes the active ingredient glyphosate. Glyphosate is a probable carcinogen and a water soluble. It's found in our water sources, it's found in our bloodstreams, and even mother's breast milk. Research also shows that glyphosate increases inflammation and breaks down the gut lining, which leads to leaky gut. Refer to my last post for more information on that. Roundup is now the most sprayed herbicide in the world. The USA sprays it at over 100 million tons every year. In 1996, Monsanto introduced genetically modified Roundup Ready seeds, which were made to be resistant to the heavy spraying of Roundup. With these Roundup Ready seeds, Monsanto promised farmers that they would not have to spray as much Roundup and that it would increase yield. In reality, this just allowed Monsanto to create strict patents on their seeds and how their seeds are used. If they don't like the way their seeds are used or they feel that their patent has been infringed on, then they sue the farmers. There's over hundreds of lawsuits where Monsanto has sued farmers. These GMO seeds also help fuel a growing dependency on processed foods. These seeds now account for over 90% of corn in the US, and only 1% of that corn is for human consumption. The rest is to feed factory farmed animals. And better yet, we subsidize the corn industry by over $250 million every year. Aside from corn, GMO seeds also make up over 91% of cotton and over 94% of soybeans. As if that wasn't bad enough, commodity crops are grown using industrial farming techniques such as monocropping, where you plant one single crop on a massive plot of land, which kills biodiversity in the soil and leads to a heavy use of fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides. All these chemicals eventually run off into our water sources, kind of like what you see in the Gulf of Mexico where there's massive dead zones caused by the runoff of all the industrial farms along the Mississippi River, let alone cancer rates and other issues that people in communities with conventional farms suffer from. Our current food system is being run by four big chemical companies and nine big food companies that have no regard for the environment, the people eating the food, or the people growing the food. Farmer and agriculture workers have higher suicide rates than almost any other industry. Conventional farmers tend to deal with high rates of leukemia, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and skin cancers, and their kids deal with higher rates of ADHD, autism, and neurological disorders. The good news is we don't even need all this food. We don't need these farming techniques. We waste over 40% of the food that we produce. We can make a drastic change for our environment and our health simply by the decisions that we make in the grocery store. This is why I preach about supporting brands that utilize organic or even better regenerative farming practices. Regenerative farming means no pesticides. It means we grow multiple crops to allow the other crops to thrive off each other, which increases soil biodiversity and makes it better for the land and a more nutritious yield. So we're getting better food ourselves. This is all common sense, but instead our government would rather subsidize industries that are literally killing us. We need to be the difference. We need to be the change. It all starts by what you buy at the grocery store.